Have you ever wondered what They Might Be Giants have been up to since you stopped listening to them? I was a huge fan at one time, but lost touch with them over the years. It's time to go back. Here's a look at their 2011 album, Join Us. Uh, one of my favorite They Might Be Giants album covers. And this one on the shrink wrap has a sticker that says includes the full album MP3 download card. Anyway, here we go. Let's open it up, see what it looks like. I have scrubbed my hands with soap and water, soap and warm water, including my fingertips to make sure I don't get too many fingerprints and stains on the album jacket, the pristine album jacket. Okay. That goes there. Here we go. First time to open it. Join us! Oh, beautiful. All of the songs and all of their lyrics. Now, here is the vinyl album and the download card. Hold on a second. Let's look at the album first. No, let's not look at the album first. Let's look at the download card first. Where's that download card? Okay, here we go. They might be giants. Join us. This coupon entitles you to a free download of this record in digital format to transfer to your computer or portable music player. Simply visit blah 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 and enter your access code blah 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 blah. Okay, here. The actual vinyl record. No song titles, just join us written Red Hot Chili Pepper style in eight bars in different colors centering around the center hole. Fair enough. It's pretty cool. And the vinyl itself looks like a pristine beauty. There is They Might Be Giants music on this vinyl platter. Isn't that exciting? All it says is join us, join us, join us, join us, and then side two and side one. So let's go check it out. Okay, so I've been listening to Join Us. Overall, I would say that Join Us is more experimental than the else. There's a wider spectrum of sounds and textures on Join Us. It came out in 2011 and it followed two children's albums in a row, so it was the band's first adult album since the else in 2007. John Flansburg explained at the time that They Might Be Giants were unexpectedly sidetracked by their parallel children's music career for much longer than they expected. The kids stuff really took us by surprise. We did a kids album as a one-off and it just was met with so much positivity from uh, critics and real-life families that yeah. it just immediately launched us into a second career, sort of a parallel career. And uh, it came perilously close to taking over our career a couple of years ago, and now we've come back to this. So that's why this album feels like an explosion of pent-up troubled weirdness and zany new ideas. Now here's the structure of the album. It has 18 songs, and they evenly break down, very evenly, between John Linnell and John Flansburg. Each John gets about eight songs, and then there are two that feature both of them very, very evenly. That evenness is evidence of how balanced the two Johns are as friends and as collaborators. For the most part, John and I uh, function as each other's editors more than anything else. Um, we, we, I think we're, we're often the first audience for whatever is being put together for, by the other. Now, while The Else was dominated by heavy rock guitar, Join Us has some of that, but lots more fanciful touches all over the place. Maybe that's why The Else had a dark, cold cover. And uh, Join Us has this bright white background with uh, the big pink amazing truck graphic. So about the musical styles on Join Us. The album was produced by the usual team. They might be Giants and Pat Dillett. And the band just seems more frisky on this album. Even when they do typical TMBG style pop, they're making sure to find novel textures and unexpected elements to keep you on your toes. Several songs on Join Us sound like music from a stage show or something, kind of playful broad motifs that are aware of the audience and unburdened by typical rock song formula. For example, Cloisonne recalls the sparse hipster stylings of a nightclub in the 50s and the Lady and the Tiger has a sly, sax-driven melody and is more of a soundtrack to a story than a song. Three Might Be Duende, too, is comprised of disparate musical sections that end up in a full-throated, winking, sing-along presentation. All of which is not to say there isn't plenty of pop and rock on Join Us. There is, and it's the glue that holds it all together. And maybe it's just me, but I hear a lot of musical references to rock and roll history on Join Us. I don't know how intentional they are, but it doesn't matter. The Johns, both Johns, are steeped in music, both uh, ancient and new. And the cool thing about Join Us is that they wear their influences on their sleeves, even while exploring them and 
twisting them into their own unique shapes. In various tracks I hear echoes of The Clash, early folk music, late 60s sunshine pop, and dark 80s synth pop. As a post-punk rock, post-new wave person, I mean, I was 17 in 1977, and that's really my roots music. I started playing the guitar because of uh, Jonathan Richmond and the Ramones and Elvis Costello and, and that generation of people. And that was very song-oriented, and it was very focused, and everything was very short. Of course, TMBG are still TMBG, and they reference their own past as well. Or I guess you could say are influenced by themselves. There's classic explosive John Linnell power pop, and When Will You Die sounds like it could fit perfectly on Miscellaneous T, the great compilation of late 1980s B-sides. Protagonist, to me, sounds like a lost Flansburg classic from the John Henry Factory showroom era of the mid-90s. Not that the guys themselves would agree. I think we're, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to make a, a brand new thing every time out of the box and I, maybe sometimes it strikes people as fresher than others um but um it's you know we're, we're we're never i don't think we've ever thought oh let's let's go back and make that that record again or i think we feel very strongly that it's a as songwriters and and arrangers and producers where there is a progression um i don't know i've got a, i've got a friend who's a, a rock theory that all bands first albums are the only good thing that they do Ooh. so Ooh, but that's, demo that's demonstrably false. Yeah, but I can, no, I can no, think of six bands that that's completely She's not interested untrue. in your six bands. Yeah. Added to all this is the stuff that, to my ears anyway, just sounds new. Like Never Knew Love is a sweet and winsome John Linnell song with verses by Flansburg, whose simple directness sets it apart from the great majority of They Might Be Giant songs. Spoiler Alert features two sets of lyrics and melodies sung at the exact same time by the two Johns, one in each speaker. You Don't Like Me is an amazing concoction built around single guitar strums that ring out bizarre but fascinating time signatures and head-spinning lyrics. Which brings us to the lyrical themes on Join Us. I said in my video about the else that Linnell often writes lyrics about a lonely or disturbed figure and casts his stories in the first person, and that Flansburg generally writes inquisitive songs about other people and relationships. Well, on Join Us, I would say those parameters are basically still true, but more relaxed and much wider, and there's more crossover. Linnell's songs range from that cute declaration of love to an infamous one that repeatedly wishes someone dead. Two of his songs involve someone worried that his feelings for someone else aren't being returned. One merely awkward, one more off the rails. In other songs, he sings of a car crash involving a distracted writer, tells a strange time travel story laced with unsettling psychological mysteries, and encourages someone to relax and not be afraid to try something new. Overall, I would say impermanence and change seem to be much on John Linnell's mind over the course of Join Us. Flansburg, for his part, engages in much denser and obscure poetry. As I've said, I am no good at interpreting lyrics, and I'm not generally that worried about what TMBGs mean. I suspect they're not quite as pregnant with meaning as lots of fans imagine, but... I really enjoy Flansburg lyrics, Flansburg's lyrics on Join Us. He seems to be drawing from a wide field of pop culture and history for his references. Most of all, his songs are full of people, both famous like Banksy and Hieronymus Bosch, and the more anonymous, as is obvious from just the song titles, like Protagonist, Dog Walker, and The Lady and the Tiger. If Linnell provides the drama, Flansburg provides the characters. Like Linnell's, Flans' songs often break the fourth wall and are about music itself, or entertainment itself, or creative people, some on their way up and some on their way down. Some it's hard to tell, but in general, art and artistic struggle seem to be John Flansburg's general concern on Join Us. So I guess lyrically, John, uh, Join Us is overall concerned with decay and change and artistic struggle and release. We can debate how much his tongue was in his cheek, but John Flansburg did mention in an interview about the adult world pain and bitterness that was poured into this album. And then over the course of that time, we became uh, even more deeply embittered and uh, angry about our lot in life. So we have returned to the adult arena with <laughs> a, a, a fiery new focus. It's all about using bitterness for fuel, Joe. Yes. Um, you know, mu mu musicians, musicians are a naturally uh, uh, a disenchanted bunch. And uh, being uh, 30, 29 years down the road with this project, uh, we have a lot of pain to share. With a single production team behind every track, Join Us, again, holds up very well as an album. Despite the array of styles and sounds, it all sounds like it belongs together. 
I've seen some people online say that it took a few listens for it to all sink in. For me, I pretty much got join us on the first listen or two. A couple songs that I noticed less at first, though, did indeed emerge as more interesting on subsequent listens. And there are two or three that firmly get stuck in my head, even when I haven't heard them for a long time. To sum up the music on Join Us, it's fun. Maybe that's why, so far, it's They Might Be Giants' highest charting album ever, at least on the Billboard 200 list. It's also light-hearted, even in its darkest and most hateful moments, which are never far away. Join Us holds up to repeated listenings. It's buoyant and adventurous, and while it's not always comfortable, it's always moving somewhere. And it surrounds you and whisks you along with it. As Flansburg put it perfectly in a radio interview at the time, join us is like an upward spiral. You can sort of tell when you're in an upward spiral, and I feel like this might, this might actually be the crescendo. Some notes about the vinyl LP packaging. It's a gatefold, as we saw, with the lyrics printed on the inside. The song titles on the back, plus several lines in the lyrics and elsewhere on the liner notes, have black lines through them. I think this is a stylistic thing with no special deep meaning. The art was done by designer Paul Sayre, with Flansburg as creative director, and is simple and colorful, while being kind of weird and eye-catching. Looks like black and white photocopies with big flat colors added. The back is a yellow ape-looking glove with a rose. Inside is a yellow bone. And of course on the front is this cool, hip monster hearse in pink. Crafty They Might Be Giants fans will be pleased to know that you can download a printable PDF and make your own paper model of the truck on the cover. I would like to say that I went to all the trouble to buy thick paper that my printer could handle and print out the PDF and cut it out and assemble it and everything just for this video. And here it is. Yes, I should have used liquid glue and I had to use tape instead, but whatever. Oh, and one more thing. A few months after Join Us was released in July 2011, another disc called Album Raises New and Troubling Questions was issued. It was made up of several songs intended originally for Join Us, plus some other rarities. I'll try to cover it in a future video. I haven't actually heard it yet. But anyway, that's a lot of new music from the two Johns. It's a good thing they remain such good friends over the years. Now, you guys have been friends for a long, long time. How do you keep that together? Uh, we're not friends anymore. No. But we, we, um, but we still have a very good working relationship. How do we keep the I spark think, alive, I, I don't John? know. I, I mean, maybe I'm getting feeble-minded, but I, I think... John's really interesting, you know. Like, I, it's fun to drive around with him. Oh, this is all going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I think it's. I, I think I am getting sort of soft in the head, though. So that's probably part of the reason. Like, I right. think I have a feeling I've already heard all his jokes. So oh, I'm picking up some new stuff. <laughs> so that wraps up my thoughts on Join Us by They Might Be Giants. Let me know if you violently disagree or violently agree. In another video, I'll do a song by song review of all 18 tracks from Join Us. So if you want a deeper dive into this excellent LP please check that out. Thanks for watching. My next album will be, and, uh, and unwrapping, will be Nanobots. So be sure to come and join us for that. All right, we're gonna to put together a They Might Be Giants Join Us truck out of paper. Here's what you're gonna need for this project. A printed out PDF, hopefully on thick, thicker paper. Um, a straight ruler, a butter knife or something to score the uh, cardboard with, some quick drying glue, scissors. I'm not sure if I need this kind of pen knife thing, but maybe. Uh, a beer for afterwards, in case you get it right, and of course, glasses, if you're of some years. So here we go, step one. <laughs> 